you were saying how right cold now. it was when you went to go visit Ohio State and you didn't mm-hmm. like the cold, and yet once you got to the NFL, you were known for freezing temperatures, walking around pregame with no shirt on. So uh, how did you transition from someone who didn't like the cold question. to like being a guy who <laughs> had pants on when it's 20 degrees and that's it? Yeah, from Florida, so, that's impressive. So the, the, so the thing is, it's a story behind this, mm-hmm. and the reason that I started doing that is because one day we were playing the Buffalo Bills, and it was snowing like crazy. They delayed the game because they were trying to push the snow off the field. And like when when you have turf and you're trying to snow the, the snow off the field, if you if you push the pebbles the wrong way, yes, you have to like reposition or whatever. But it was so cold, it was like 18 degrees, Damn. and I feel like I had the flu. I was really sick. I, I was super sick, and I, I'm, I'm wondering how this story ends up yeah. with your shirt off. Yeah, so, this is why. So basically, so basically, I, I talked to I talked to my teammates, and I said, "Hey, so nowadays it's not as big of a deal, but the Steelers they were like, hey, the defense doesn't wear sleeves. Nobody on the defense wears sleeves because it shows toughness. Mm-hmm. I don't know where they get that from, but <laughs> I guess they say it shows toughness. So, so I was like, all right, cool." I'm not gonna wear sleeves, but this game in particular, it was my third year. I was like, "Hey, I'm feeling real sick. Like, I feel really bad. Like, I think I'm gonna need to wear sleeves because I just need to be as warm as possible." And it was like, "No, you're, you're not gonna wear sleeves." And I was like, "I didn't have to. I should, probably should not even said nothing, but and just w- went out there with them." Sure. But I, I was like, "I was like, I what are you talking about? I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm, I'm gonna wear sleeves." And James Harrison like, "Nah, you, you're James, gonna, <laughs> him, him." And like Cam and, and, and a few guys was like, hey, no, nah, we're going to find you five grand per sleeve. Per sleeve? Yeah, so that's $10,000. Yes, we can do the math easily. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. so, so I was like, I'm like, y'all going to find me five grand per sleeve? Like, this is ridiculous. And then uh, I went to Coach T, like, oh, like like a little kid. I'm like, yo, Coach, they're tripping. Like, like this is sniffing on them. And then he, and he was like, he was like, yo, yeah, whatever the defense says, like, I'm rocking with it. So I'm like, are you serious? He backed their play. Yeah, he backed their play. So I was like, all right, cool. If if y'all not gonna let me wear sleeves, I'm just gonna go out here and warm up with no shirt off. Cause if I have the flu and die out here, it's on y'all. So I'm just gonna warm so up. So out of spite, you took your shirt off. <laughs> yeah, so out of sp- there it is. <laughs> So, so out of spite, I took my shirt off. And that looks kind of warm there. And uh, <laughs> and uh, I told him, I was like, yeah, if like. I'm like, if I die out here, it's on y'all. Just give y'all heads up. So I went out there and warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I went, I went out there and warmed up with them with no shirt on. We ended up beating them pretty bad. It was like, we, we, we didn't beat them. Like, we, we, like, we soundly beat them. It wasn't by like 20 right. points on them, but we beat them by like 17 or 14. Yeah. And people were like, it started going on the news. Like, Ryan Shazier warmed up and with no shirt on, 18 degree weather. And I did it again the week after because it just kept getting colder. And, and then it started, like, people started, like, and then a guy after the game was like, man, it's, it's cold as hell out here. Like, how are you out here with no shirt on? And I was like, we just played a whole game. Like, it was going back and forth, and we just beat y'all. And the first thing you come to me was like, yo, how did you warm up with no shirt off? I was like, yeah, I mentally, you mentally been thinking about this the whole game. <laughs> I'm like, so if your head is thinking about me, then you're not thinking about what you need to be thinking about. So it's so now an advantage. It's now, and I was like, if I get like a one or two percent advantage of you, that's good enough in the NFL. So it started out of spite and maintained due to a competitive advantage. Yeah, and then I just started doing it, and then I started seeing other people do it, like the Giants did it in Green Bay, and all these other people doing it. But I, I, I did it first. Yeah, so. <laughs> you were the trailblazer. <laughs> yeah, I was the trailblazer. Um, what a way to start, man! Wow. What a way to do it. That yeah. is, how cold were you though? No, no, I, I hated the cold weather. I, I actually, I absolutely hated it. Every moment of me being out there, I was like, "This is freezing." But the one thing that it did help me do, with yeah. is it did prepare me for what the weather was about to be like. Of course, hey, I, I hated every moment of it. But I was warming up with my shirt off and getting used to it. But I was only out there for like five, ten minutes. I wasn't out there for a long time. Isn't that amazing? You're from Florida. You go to Ohio State, and it's four degrees there. You say, "I'll go there," and look what happened. In there yeah. and then you, you your Steeler career um where where you do that out of spite that it, I just it's it's really wild how how things happen catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel 12 to 3 Eastern for free